We're, we're just using one tool and we're interpolating the holes. We're trying to plunge awful deep, but I don't know. I like plunging deep. So, <laughs> all right. You ready, you ready there, Cal? Press the go. All right. Yeah, I think I, I got so many thoughts, it's not even funny. I don't know where to stop. Why don't I, uh, machining, I, you know, you just saw us run the program. Um, we got one there. You know, we're still getting it dialed in. That's, that's what I think. We still got to put, we have the coolant pump hooked up. We can, you know, MO8 turn it on, but we don't have the lines run. We don't have our enclosure. So, I mean, my first thought is it's, you know, messy, very <laughs> messy. Um, but as far as machining, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, pretty conservative. First time ever programming it. I was just using conversational, so it's a little slow. We were having some spindle fault area errors. We have too small of a VFD on here because our main VFD we we're going to use was broke, but we had a smaller one. It's really only rated at two horse. And this is a three horse motor so um but we're gonna get we're gonna you know get a bigger vfd yeah or get it uh, fixed um as far as like the machining i you know probably saw a little i mean this isn't it interpolates some damn nice holes i mean that finish is pretty impressive uh, rapids right now we just got them set to 225 the it's got like kind of an auto tune feature and i think it said we could go like 250 yeah 280 i thought you said 286 or something about 300 i thought was the max but um the big bed's nice we got a couple of vices i mean we can set up several three these are full six inch vices so um yeah machine's nice uh you know, I wish it was a little faster, obviously, but uh, it seems fairly rigid. I'm um, judging by these finishes too. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I've got to get used to the software, and then I can start homing in the programs and push it harder, especially once we get that VFD set up. So well, that's kind of my thoughts, just based on you know one little job we did. We made like five of these. Do you wanna? Here are my thoughts. Go ahead. I set up all the control stuff, right? And uh, it's pretty straightforward. Everything else was pretty easy. The auto tuned, auto tuned the VFD, auto tuned servo motors. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Okay. What about uh, in the back there? You well, wanna? We did most of that. Well, yeah. I guess I did wire most of that. I guess I can give you a little over here view. You can see we're pretty much done. Get out, of here. Yeah. get out of here i think kevin already showed you this uh in the uh a video or two ago and most of that was already set up we just did a lot of the finish wiring here's our little vfd it's uh like i said it's only rated like two horse and that's a three horse motor on it we have a, a five horse one that's not working so we got to get it fixed uh my thoughts on wiring though is uh 
it's a lot of work. A lot more work than I expected. Um, yes. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. A what, lot. What, yeah. What are your other thoughts on wiring, Deb? Well, you're going to have to know how to read a schematic. So, and just do it part by part and uh, don't make any mistakes. So. Yeah, we didn't make a lot of mistakes. No, we blew one fuse. That was hooking up the coolant pump, wasn't it? I hooked to the wrong, the contactor wrong. Yep. And then we uh, we actually wired the motor wrong, but we fixed that. Oh yeah, I had the wire up. Because six and nine. Yeah, well it was a 440, wired for 440, and we had to make it 220. And I had the six and the nine switched around on it. But it didn't blow anything. The VFD sensed it and just went into a fault mode. So, um, yeah, my thoughts are, uh, like I said, a lot more work than, than I thought. Um, if you're a procrastinator like me, yeah, maybe, maybe having a mill already done, getting one that's already wired. What our final cost didn't really change though from even our first video. We only are about 10 grand all in because we didn't need to buy anything else. No. But we do need to now fix that VFD, which is going to be a couple hundred. But I think we're right, I'm just guesstimating, but we're right around 10,000 all in so far. So, and really not much more. We got a few limit switches like this. This has got a high, low range that we need to put a little switch on because the control will compensate. Um, because that's got a back gear and it reverses direction, but the, you can program in the parameters how to fix that. Um, anything else you want to add about it? Uh, I used Autodesk Fusion to uh, make a program. And uh, other than can you, Autodesk Fusion uh, gimping their program, um, it's easy to copy over, so it'll be interesting to run our first CAM, CAM program. Do that next yeah, yeah. We might do some programming, kind of go through the Centroid controller. We can show you, like Kevin said, he's working on some uh, um, programs. Um, the one we did, we just did through the, I think it's called Inter Intercon, isn't it? Yes. They're conversational programming. So we'll go probably go over that in the next video. Kind of go over some programming and. There it is. Yeah, there's a of our programs in there. Not a lot to see there, but we'll go over it a little more in depth. Um, That's it. That's yeah, it's about it. I mean, ready to I mean, chips. I mean, chips all over, but yeah, to make chips. yeah. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> getting the coolant and a some sort of uh, shields up is our next project. Yeah. Next big project, so we don't make a big mess. But uh, yeah, I mean. Otherwise, uh, following the schematic, it was pretty straightforward, don't you think, Kev? I mean, yeah. it, it took a long time. Like I said, I'm a procrastinator. Plus, we got, you know, a full-time job as it is. So, um, but if you're a real go-getter, you know, good at wiring or at least mediocre at it, you can definitely get her done. We got her done, and we're no experts at wiring, so. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. Let's... Uh, Till the next video. Yeah, let's go make some uh, more chips. Yeah. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more videos on this uh, mill. We'll put her through the paces. All right.